Welcome everybody. In this video lecture, we'll be learning about mean value theorems. So let's get started. So the number one is Rolle's theorem. So let us get on with the definition. So let fx be an function on the closed interval a comma b which satisfies the following conditions so let us get on with the first condition fx is a continuous fx is continuous in the closed interval interval a comma b so the function must be continuous in the closed interval a comma b so now our second condition is fx is derivable derivable in the open interval a comma b so the same function must be also be derivable in the open interval a comma b the third condition should be f of a will be equals to f of b after matching all the three conditions and the function should satisfy all this so we can get the inference that then there exists at least one point c comma a less than c less than b such that f dash c will be zero this is our main final conclusion that we get from Rolle's theorem this is all of our basic requirements and this is our result so now let us move on to the geometrical interpretation geometrical interpretation so to understand the Rolle's theorem via geometry let me take the axis this is our x-axis this is our y-axis so let us consider a continuous curve that is y equals to fx which is continuous in the closed interval a b and derivable in the open interval a b we see that f of a is equals to f of b so all the three conditions get satisfied so from Rolle's theorem we get a point say C which is which belongs to A comma B such that F dash of C will be zero F dash of C will be zero this means dy dx at x equals to C will be zero we dy dx can also be written as tan theta at x equals to c zero and theta tan theta is equals to zero therefore theta is also zero degree at x equals to c so we can say that at the tangent at the point c let, let me get this correct the tangent at the point c makes an angle zero degree with the x axis we can also say that the tangent C is parallel to the x-axis. This is known as the geometrical interpretation of Rolle's theorem. If you had any problems, comment below. And if you did like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button for more videos. Thank you.